Russian telegram channels claim to have got their hands on a leaked NATO document suggesting that Ukrainian losses were way higher than Western officials were publicly admitting, and that Russian losses were way lower. Originally, this was dismissed as a Russian psyop, but a bit of digging by Bellingcat and other internet sleuths revealed that the leak was actually part of a larger leak, including at least 50 classified Pentagon documents, first posted on a series of obscure gaming Discord servers when the following image started doing the rounds on pro-war Russian Telegram channels. According to Russian military bloggers, this was a leaked photograph from an internal US Pentagon document suggesting that the Ukrainian army... Have you ever thought that the FBI might be arresting people for leaking classified documents? Maybe that's why that 21-year-old is being uh, 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 detained? He had lost somewhere you between 61 and 71,000 troops, compared to just 16 to 17,000 lost by the Russian army. Now, by Friday, this photo was all over Twitter, and mainstream Western news outlets were already reporting on it. At the time, it looked like the most likely explanation for this was a Russian psyop designed to boost morale among the Russians and put down the Ukrainians. After all, the idea that only 17,000 Russians had died in Ukraine was pretty implausible, given that publicly available Western estimates put the total number of casualties including those wounded in action, at nearly 200,000. And even the most ardent pro-Russian commentators estimated something more like 30,000. However, an investigation... But hey, it's 17. ...by Bellingcat traces the photo back to 4chan slash pollboard. And it turns out that it was actually edited by the Russian Telegram channels that Bellingcat's investigation was really great, especially given that it was published only a couple of days after <coughs> the original leak came out. Why is and FBI I arresting for documents? Look, if certain people leak classified documents that is illegal and then the federal bureau of investigation which is federal for the whole country starts making arrests for that you know does that make any sense a lot of this video is based on that investigation as such we'll leave a link in the description if you want only to only 5k read the died itself <laughs> I think like anyway, maybe in the one guy. photo, Russia's KIA are actually estimated to be somewhere between 35 and 43,000, while Ukraine's are estimated at between 16 and 17. That's the unedited leak? And archives of the 4chan board, this photo is a crop of a larger image posted by an anonymous user with the ID CXWF. LHRB on That's Wednesday Miro's afternoon. account. I'm telling you, that's fucking that Miro, man. He's in chat. User posted two other images, apparently also leaked from the Pentagon. Now, as none of us at TLDR want to end up on a CIA black site, and as a relatively small news channel, we can't afford a legal challenge from the Pentagon, <laughs> we're going to go on the safe side and pixelate the following images. Now, on March 4th, a user called Psyker posted these three photos alongside. You see that picture? That's Tommy K right here, dude! That's Tommy K! <laughs> That's me, bro! <laughs> what the fuck? You wanna see the most fucked up shit of all times? Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> That's me! <laughs> I'm such an international superstar, bro! Dude, they're gonna go fuck, man! It's right there, bro! <laughs> Miro, you wanna fuck with me, Miro? I make these leaks, boy. I'm the mastermind behind it, Miro. Holy fucking shit. That's kind of fucked up, dude. Let's let's go into detail. So imagine you work for the CIA and it's your job to follow these leaks. So you look at these discords and you click on his account. What do you think is the chance a CIA employee saw my profile picture there? Like 100%, right? They might actually be getting info on you. Dude, this is getting a bit scary now. I'm a little bit, this is this is the most fucked up thing of my whole career. I know a lot of fucked up things. I know that the Christchurch killer watched me. I know that out of sources. The Christchurch killer uh, watched watched Toy 4 content creators. How would you vet me though? Imagine you work for the CIA and FBI and you're checking the profile picture. How would you vet that? You will reverse image the picture and what would happen then? So he took this profile picture. He took this profile picture, bam. So how do you reverse image search something? Can you guys explain that to me? I have no idea how that works. Drag it here. So now the FBI agent gets this is this is fucked up, man. So he gets this Tommy K on Twitter. So they go to this tweet, 
Feeling cute might form Austria Hungary now. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> That's not good. This is not good, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm going to prison. Where are they? And then they check like my channel. Oh, hello. And they see I'm just a gamer, okay? Oh, the Great War West on front. <laughs> Dude, a CIA agent probably looked me up. How's this real? But that's not actually where these photos originated from. A few days earlier, a different user known as Luca apparently posted the images on another Discord server called Wow Mal, which is nominally a fan wow, server for the Filipino gaming YouTube Wow Mal. Now, from what we've seen, Luca posted something like 50 documents on the Discord server. How do you have these documents, you fucking weirdos? Oh, man. Why are you getting, why are you getting me in trouble, you fucker? At least, I, I hope now, at least he was a fucking cat, sub, man. That he got the from what is happening? I'm just sitting here playing WoW. And now I'm like an international fucking terrorist? With something like 20 active users focused on video games. I think we lost a sub there. ...and Orthodox Christianity called what? Thug Shaker Central, which has since been deleted. Dude, these Discord channels are so fucked up. I saw some Discord channels in my time. There's some very <laughs> fucked up Discord channels on this planet. crazy history of these leaks. But are they genuine? Well, it's certainly possible that all of this could be a well-crafted American psyop. And as such, both the Russians and the Ukrainians are skeptical. At the weekend, Wagner's Grey Zone Telegram channel warned their followers not to trust the leaks. And Ukrainian presidential advisor Mikhail Podolyak dismissed them as a Russian psyop ahead of Kyiv's anticipated spring counteroffensive. However, despite these dismissals, comments Maybe from the Garrett US isn't the pilot. He came from the US to Germany to In find you. In response to the leaks, the Pentagon has created a cross-governmental panel. The Department of Justice... Documents about a war have been leaked in the Minecraft Discord with my profile picture in it. And you want to genuinely tell me we don't live in a simulation? You want to tell me that all of this is real? Are you listening to me? I want you to take this in. Documents have been leaked about a real-life war on a Minecraft Discord where my profile picture has been used. Something is very fucked with this Matrix, man. This Something is, is totally a fucked up. Investigation, and the Biden administration has spent the last few days trying to get the photos off Twitter. On top of this... There's like government officials working on this! Several former NATO officials told The Economist that they thought the reports were probably authentic. So, assuming that these leaks are indeed genuine... Uh, Tony, when did he follow? When did he follow? The leaks? If he followed just well, recently, then he actually is a bot, yeah. probably three main takeaways. Firstly, Going to hide in like CK2. losing significantly more troops than the Ukrainians. When, According December to December 2022? I think it's just a fucked up kid, twice as high as Ukraine's. But if you want to battle Tony, I, I respect your decision, to be honest. 500 tanks left. Secondly, Ukraine is running out of air defense. According to these leaks, Ukraine is now running low on Buck and S-300 missiles, which make up about 90% of Ukraine's medium-range air defenses. And as such, Ukraine's air defense Yo, will I feel be a bit bad, man. I completely bad. reduced by May. I'm just on the shock right now. I'm just so and shocked, thirdly, man. One slide suggests that there are nearly 100 NATO officials on the ground. 50 from Britain, 17 from Latvia, 15 from France, and 14 from America. Now, this is pretty massive news. Not only does it lend legitimacy to Russia's claim that they are fighting NATO, but it also massively increases the odds of escalation. But it's not just Ukraine either. There's some pretty wild stuff in there about other countries too. For example, one document claims that the UAE have agreed to share intelligence with Russia, which the Emirati government has since denied. Another claims that Mossad was planning on supporting the anti-judicial reform protests in Israel, which have recently subsided. Now, obviously, this is pretty terrible news for America. For starters, these leaks have quite seriously undermined Ukraine. A guy in a Minecraft Discord undermined Ukraine. What is... The thing is, I think I'm safe. Like, if they would actually monitor me, they just see a normal dude who's like, you know... Doing nothing wrong. It includes details of which Ukrainian brigade. I felt very followed on the streets today. Aids have received which Western equipment. Which Thank you, Emilio, bro. Are you a CIA agent, Emilio? Doing what in the coming counteroffensive? 
And the Russians now also know that Ukrainian air defense is nearly exhausted. But it's not just that strategic information either. The leak also undermines America's relationship with its allies. Not only will allies now have a hard time trusting the Americans with their intelligence, but the documents also suggest that the Americans... Let's hope they didn't see you uh, supported socialism today. ...are actively spying on a whole load of their allies, including Ukraine, Israel, and South Korea. All in all, <clears throat> while the documents confirm that the Russians are losing, they're also very bad news for both Ukraine and America. That's all what is the charge of these people? They will be charged with uh, threatening the national security. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> If you were to profile you, Tommy, let's 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 face it. You, you went and got educated in China. You wear a red tank top all the time. You're born in, in Eastern Germany. <laughs> it's not fuck? looking good for you, man. Jesus Christ! You play a lot of Germany, a lot of Italy. You're gonna play Russia It's a big no-no. I guess it's just the type of people who for tracks, huh? <laughs> and now it's kind of confirmed that the CIA. Check 2 a.m. Dude, you don't get content like this anywhere else. Tommy K, Twitch Prime, get me some money before I go to prison in Guantanamo Bay. I don't do anything. There's probably a CIA agent watching right now. Who do you think is a CIA agent? What would be his name? Like American Freedom or something? This guy has CIA in his name. Cianano. When did you fucking follow, you fuck? Uh, no, no, when did he follow? No messages. <gasps> when did he follow? He, he didn't, he isn't followed. He isn't followed. He has a World of Warcraft profile picture because he thinks I'm a <laughs> WoW streamer. He took a World of Warcraft picture to act like he's a WoW. F oh! What are you still doing here, mate? Jeez! Well, if you want to see more, click these videos. Have fun. Looking good, boy.